Tonight on Haunted Airbanks, I take a tour of the majestic Queen Mary, the most haunted ship in the world. With a legendary history, they also led to tragedy. Join me as I search for passengers at 3 a.m. that have checked in, but to this day have not checked out. The RMS Queen Mary, built in the 1930s, served as a luxury cruise liner for the Cunard White Star Line, transporting passengers on the North Atlantic. The Queen Mary was also known as the Grey Ghost when she was put in service as a troop transport during World War II. She was such a hindrance to enemies that Hitler offered $250,000 for any U-boat captain that could sink her. In 1942, tragedy struck when the Queen collided with a smaller escorting vessel, splitting the small vessel in half, killing over 300 crew members aboard. On this adventure, we will see if we can make contact with any of the souls said to still inhabit this ship. So what we're going to do right now is go and check out the engine room. It's said to be haunted by a spirit of uh, a mechanic who was crushed by uh, one of the fire doors, fire door 13. So we're gonna go down there and see if we could potentially run into this dead spirit. Let's check it out. All right guys, so. Like I was about to say. All right guys, I'm the only one down here in the engine room. The last family just left out of here. So we're gonna walk around here and see what there is. Show you what the engine room look like. And if you see anything in the video, comment below, let me know what it is that you see. Got some old timey music playing in the background. Wow, look at that down there. I wonder if we can get down there. Let's figure out how to get down there. Look at the size of this engine, guys. It's massive. I can see the rust down there. Look how rusty that is down there. Now I'm not sure, here's door 13. There was a story, and I can't remember the name, of a worker that actually got pinned in between this door and the wall. Can't recall what the worker's name was. But yep, this is door 13. Right now, I'm walking the decks of the Queen Mary. Eh, it's about 10 minutes to three. I must say that I am actually pretty scared. Always looking over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a good time. I also wanna throw out there that everything that are in my videos are 100% Legit. I never ever fabricate anything in my videos and I never will. So 
the first place that we're gonna go to is the pool. See if anything transpires there. So let's head over there. So I just wanna show y'all that it is in fact 3 a.m. So the first place that we're gonna go to is the pool where a little girl by the name of Jackie had drowned there. Many people have said that if you go there at 3 a.m. you could hear laughter or a child singing or even see an apparition moving around in the pool area. For the longest, the pool was For the longest, the pool was blocked off. You couldn't really see it, see in there. But we have it open now. And you can see right in the side of there. So, there it is right over there. That's the pool area. So, what I'm gonna do, just gonna ask a couple of questions, pull out my K2 meter, ask a couple of questions, and see if we can possibly contact, let me shut this light off, there we go, see if we can possibly contact Jackie. We have the K2 right here. So, Jackie, if you're in this area, could you please come close? I mean, no harm. Will not hurt you in any way. But if you're here, can you make yourself known? Jackie, is that you? So we're going to continue with our tour of the Queen Mary at 3 a.m. We're going to go and check out the most haunted room on this ship, room B340. So let's turn it over here. Oh, 
my map, but I'm not going behind it. Got my EMF meter out to see if you pick anything up. Something here. If there's something here. Can you make my lights go up a little bit more? Alright guys, we're going to make our, make our way back to Hayden to check out the, the battle of the ship. And then, we're going to go check out our deck. Now our deck, there's a set of staircase that several people have fallen down. Back when the ship was sailing. Alright guys, so have to be quiet now. Walking through the halls. Of the quarters. People are sleeping. I don't want to wake anybody up. So we're going to make our way to the bow of the ship. Just right up here. And then, right actually before we go to the bow, show you our deck and the stairs. So here it is. Here's our deck. Many people have fallen down these stairs during the rocking of the ship. Some have said that that's what these red hash marks mean for the number of people who have perished here. This is our deck. Is there anybody in this area that wishes to communicate? They just lit up right here. Is there somebody right here? Yeah, there is. Can you make my meter light up again? Right now it's not blinking anymore. Second go, it was blinking.
what we're gonna do now, we're gonna head to the bow of the ship. And there's a little bit of history with the bow. Uh, back when the Queen Mary served as a troop transport in World War II, there was a mission where they were being escorted by uh, Her Majesty's ship, uh, Corasola. And as it was being escorted, the Queen Mary was doing a zigzag pattern, per se, while it was sailing. And Corasola was sailing next to it. Queen Mary figured that the Corasola would be able to see it and would get out of its way. Well, that didn't happen. And the Queen Mary ended up plowing through, killing all 338 crew members on board. So we're gonna head up to the bow. The main hot spot is in the lower decks uh, towards the bow, but we can't get down there. So we're gonna head up to the top level to take out the bow. so eerie walking around this ship and like there was nobody walking around I think I've seen maybe one or two people oh god every time, every time I hear a sound I'm looking to see what that sound was And here it is guys, here's the bow of the ship. Look at this view, minus the fog over there. Look at that, that's beautiful. A little fun fact about me that not too many people know. I'm actually, terrified of cruise ships. I have seen numerous movies that have told me that I do not need to be on a cruise ship because I do not know what I would do in that situation if I was on a ship and it, and it capsized or sunk or what have you and uh, yeah to this day I have never been on a cruise matter of fact this is my first time being on a vessel this big I have never been on a cruise I tend to one day get over that fear and go on one my family goes on them a lot Yeah, I haven't been on one at all. <laughs> we actually had somewhat of a scary situation earlier because the fire alarms on the ship started going off. There has been a fire recorded on your floor. There has been a fire recorded on your floor. Please proceed to the stairways and exit building and basically somebody went in and turned one of the valves and caused the fire alarm to turn off or go off and it took them a while to figure out how to reset it but they finally got it reset so that's a good thing wow this is a beautiful area out here for events Here we are on the stern of the ship and as they have right here caution do not climb that's right if you come out here do not try to pull a rose from Titanic and try to climb this railing I was leaning far over to see the uh... and I slipped.
right guys, so that's gonna do it for this episode of Haunted Urbex. Had an absolute blast touring the Queen Mary last night. Uh, heard a couple of sounds and my EMF meters went off a couple of times. So, had an absolute blast. If there's anything in the video that you saw that I might have missed, please comment below as to what it was that you saw. And don't forget to smash that like button. Keep checking back for more stuff that I'm gonna be posting in the future. And y'all have a good one.